<laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. never mind. So, I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna I think say. we missed quite a few. Oh, they, I no. think we missed quite a few things. No, we didn't. Did we? Well, I think so. You're always been a little feeling alright, and you're. I don't know. You're always been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. <laughs> sick in the head, maybe. Your breathing is a little. My breathing. Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. <laughs> I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. Those are different facial expressions. Than yeah, like go ahead and look at, like listen to her chest, put your up. It's like boom, boom. I just boom, need boom, some water. All right, don't push yourself. Her heartbeat just do 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 do. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. Yuri, I can feel your heartbeat. What on earth was that about? Oh my god. Oh no. Sugar booster? Did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? I've never known anything. That's fair. Are you worried about her? Uh oh. Oh, no, not really. It's all part of my plan. It was, I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. Light. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> she has the holy thing. I don't know if it's just me, but the coloring of characters looks different right now to me. Like It could be overexposed <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Take back the Holy Land. Alright, it's if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Did you start the timer, Helen? No. Oh, yeah. no, I oh, no, no, the, the dog yeah, Well, go. we don't have to. We got it on right there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. We reset it. Okay. Uh, poems. Yes, poems. Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Did I write a poem? Oh. I guess you did. Who should we go to? Uh, let's have Dylan read. Oh, nice. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems in yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Go away! Well, not what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, no, that's a me. roach. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I said it was bad. It didn't even evoke any emotion. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? Yes. <laughs> <sighs> well, anyways, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can... Oh, you... you <laughs> Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. <laughs> Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. Is this but the same poem? It. it is the same poem. Yeah. Yes. We locked out. I can't. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to click to the side. Yeah. I, I told you I weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be Just, Come on, oh. be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? It, 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 it. Well, it. Uh, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. Sophisticated. <laughs> so people don't even take my writing seriously. Seriously. But isn't it the point of poems for people to express themselves? Oh, that's you. <laughs> your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like this poem. Or this fist! <laughs> Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. And? Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did, I guess, uh, more went into it than I realized. <laughs> That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with one last comment, with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. <laughs> It's okay, I like lollies and no pie. 
Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Centaur Mike, do you have anything you want to say about this? Hi, Sugar Booster. <laughs> <laughs> Centaur Mike, you sound different. <laughs> Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, listening. I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'd much better, I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, wanna share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> this sucks! Don't worry, Sugar Booster! <laughs> <laughs> We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But no. it's that sort of barrier we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. She mm -hmm. kicks me out of the club. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Sugar Booster. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. Neat. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. <laughs> I thought you were nothing more than a thimble full of water. <laughs> wow. It's easy for me to keep wow. everyone's expectations low. <laughs> <laughs> wow, why am I in this game? <laughs> <laughs> that way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. Ugh. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. Okay. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. Ugh. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. Okay. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. Oh. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. Mm. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Oh, okay. Like earlier. Ugh. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Oh, okay. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> I wish back. you... Did I miss anything? Not you really. missed everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all started sharing our me. poems. Wow, Monica, you sound different. <laughs> well, we all started... No. Um, well, well, we, we all, all started, started sharing, sharing our poems with each other. <laughs> 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 well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Uh, already? No, yesterday. Uh, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more than glad... Or, or wait, bleh, So I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Compared to you, I'm perfect. <laughs> well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see! Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking, or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. Oh, shoot. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. I don't think that one was read before. I don't That remember. one seems new to me. I think that one might be new. I don't remember. Monica's behind it all somehow. So, what do you think? <laughs> I think you're behind it all I think that somehow you have strange abilities over reality, and um, <laughs> you're deleting character programming from this game. I like a girl who knows how to program. <laughs> it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was so inspirational behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Oh. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Fancy. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. Wow. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming out strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Neat. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Oh no. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. That's true. 
If you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. That's also true. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up, la- <laughs> tidy it up later. <laughs> that is how I wrote my campaign. <laughs> MC is, like, right is next this. to Monica, like, trying to, like, one-up her the whole time. Like, yeah, I yeah. knew this. Uh-huh. I knew uh-huh. this. I if should you be keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. What if that's what I'm trying? What? Then that's art. So just Not move your hand and go with the flow. Isn't that's my advice for today. also art? No. Thanks for listening. What about okay. manga? What does manga <gasps> count as? Yuri! Nothing. Yuri! 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 Yuri. Yuri. Jerry reads the poem. I notice her eyes light and, and fall, fall off. off. <laughs> Exceptional. Huh? What was that? What? Did I say that out loud? Yeah, I do that too. Right now, Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. <laughs> I. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. What's this? He's Please do not. Not He's not going here. to hate me. Away! Uh. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Uh, it's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. Oh, so, what kind of writing experience do you have? This home. Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Oh, wow. That's a huge compliment coming from you. See, there was this other reality I lived in before time reset itself. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Uh, I found it on the internet. (laughs) Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trills off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words of the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and then they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. Sure it is. There are so many different (laughs) skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. (laughs) (laughs) It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone in the club gives you valuable feedback. They didn't. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? Oh. She's a manga literature. Um, well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. All three. Do you mind if I read your poem now? How dare you? Please do. I love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if, oh no, that's a rare opportunity for her. I slipped. <clears throat> Which Cut itself is kind of funny. This is my last After all, <laughs> this isn't, this, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last get to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That's the same one. Yes. I only feel like Monica's was different. I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. I wasn't thinking that at all. Look, it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is... <laughs> I don't read! <laughs> uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Bye! <laughs> no. 
Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. <laughs> Not at all. Let me tell you, I know about short things, and that poem, it was just right. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. My favorite sauce. Something mm. easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Sugar Booster. <laughs> I must have totally missed the point. Maybe I'll find it in the next episode. Hope you join us there. Love you. Made it. Click. Yuri totally watches Ghost Adventures with Zach Baggins. Oh, my <laughs> God. I think, yeah! I think, right? I think like, Yuri's more of a BuzzFeed on. Unsolved. Oh. <laughs> come on, ghosts. Come, come tickle my big old toes. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me? Yeah. That's from Ghost Adventures. <laughs> I'm quoting the show. I'm not being weird. That was an actual thing. Like a man <laughs> saying on live television to a ghost. A grown man was laying in bed with his toes uncovered at the foot of the bed. <laughs> and he's just sitting there in the dark. And he's like, come on, ghost. I heard you like to tickle toes. You want to tickle, tickle my big old toes? toes. <laughs> and then it's like, you want to tickle my big old toes? And then like something moves a little bit. And it's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That makes me think of that dude. Can you tell like, me a machete comes like out from beneath the bed, like <laughs> underneath through the mattress into his back? I wish. No. That'd you be think hilarious. a scary movie. <laughs> <laughs>